this is part two of my message called the Bible. In part one, I told you that the Bible is a spoken word of God. It's a prophetic word of God. It is the true word of God put in together to teach us, to correct or to instruct or to rebuke us, to direct us how to live and operate on this earth. And I say that the Bible is a warning book to warn us of the things that has happened in the past as a result of the choices or the choice that the people in the past made. This Bible is to guide us so that we will not fall victim. This Bible is to direct us. And I say that everything that is written in this Bible will surely come to pass. And I said that I'm going to take you through some of the things that the Bible talk about that has happened in the past and the one that is happening in our generation and the one that is still going to happen. There are so many things in the Bible that the Bible talk about, if you read from Genesis, that has happened. But the one that I want to talk to today is the Holocaust. The reason why I chose the Holocaust is because it's so common in our society. If you go to so many cities in this nation, you will see a mission, Holocaust mission, and so many books was written on Holocaust. How the how six million Jews were key in Germany. But the question it is that people don't talk about is how did the Jews came to Germany? Because they are not from there. The Bible talk about it. If you read the book of uh, Deuteronomy, there's so many places in the Bible that talk about it. If you read the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28, that's where I'm going to read. 28, if you read from chapter, uh, verse 1 to verse 14, it talks about God was telling the children of Israel, which is the Jews, that if you obey me, if you obey my commandment, which, which commandment? If you recognize me, if you serve me, if you take me as your God, he said you shall be prosper in the land that I'm taking you to. Because God was bringing them out of Egypt to a land that God has already prepared for them. A nation that God has already prepared for them. He said if you recognize me, if you obey me, if you serve me, he said benefit, blessing shall come upon you. Heaven shall open I shall make you uh, 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 higher above every other nation. But if you read from... Uh, verse 15 down it says but if you choose to disobey me these are the consequences that's going to come when you go down and talk about all the consequences but the one that I want to talk to today is the one in verse 64 then the Lord will scatter you among all nations from one end of the earth to the other there you will worship other gods, gods of wood and stone, which neither you nor your father has known. Among those nations you will find no repose, no resting place for the sole of your feet. There the Lord will give you an anxious mind, eyes weary with long with longing and despairing heart. Sister C, you will live in constant suspense. Filled with dread, both night and day, never sure of your life. If you read history, the children of Israel, the Jews, were driven from their land. So many nations invaded their land. The Bab Babylonians, the, 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 the Greeks, the Romans. So they scattered all over the world. That's how they came to Europe, they came to Germany. God said, if they disobey, it's going to scatter them. And because of disobedience, they were scattered. And God said that every nation that they scattered to, they will have no peace. If you look at it, Poland, they were they were they were killed in Poland, in in England, they were killed. In even they expelled them. King Edward, the first, expelled them from from Britain. So they were despised all over everywhere they went to because the Bible said that. That is how the Jews came to Germany. And that's how they were destroyed. Six million Jews were key in Germany. This happened as a result of disobedience to the word of God. The reason why I'm taking you through that because whatever the Bible says is going to come to pass. 
So they were scattered all over the world, all over the earth. Not only Germany, but Germany was so uh, profound, so so uh, 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 and, and important because of the destruction. Six million of them were destroyed by Nazis. So, but this thing happened as a result of disobeying the word of God, the law of God. Anyone that disobeyed the law of God, there's a consequence. Twelve said, he, he would raise a banner for the nations and gather the exiles of Israel. He will assemble the scattered people of Judah from the four quarter of the of the earth. Ephraim jealous will vanish, and Judah's enemy will cut off. God said, even though. He punished them because of the disobedience. He will remember them and gather them together and bring them back to their land. If you read the book of uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah uh, chapter 31. Jeremiah chapter 31. Let's go quickly. Verse, um, verse 10. Hear the word of the Lord, O nation. Proclaim it in distant Coastland, he who scatter Israel will gather them, and will watch over his flock like a shepherd. God is saying that yeah, he that scatter them will gather them. If you read so many scriptures, if you read and uh, uh, let's read one scripture more and uh, and uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter eleven, quickly. Chapter 11, verse 16 to 17. Therefore say, this is what the Sovereign Lord say. Although I, I send them far away among the nations and scatter them among the countries, yet for a little while I have been a sanctuary for them in the country where they have gone. Therefore say, this is what the Sovereign Lord say. I will gather you from the nation and bring you back from the country where you have been scattered and I will give you back the land of Israel again. This happened in 1948. Israel went back to their nation. They went back to their country and Israel became a nation became a nation in 1948. And as I'm talking to you today, there are so many Israel, so many Israelites, so many Jews that are going back to their own land today. Because the word of God said that they were scattered and they were scattered. And they were scattered and they were punished, they were destroyed. And he said that he's going to bring them back. Today, as I'm talking to you, the Jews all over the world, they are going back to their nation. And he said, if you read the Bible, say, when I take you back, when I bring you back to your nation, I will increase you, I will prosper you. Israel is prosper. Israel, six million Jews were key today. They are increasing. If you go to the Middle East, I think they are the, the best country or nation in the Middle East. They are prospered. That is what the word of God. I'm showing you this because whatever this Bible talk about will surely come to pass. There are so many things that this Bible talk about that will come to pass. And the one that is coming to pass in our